when Ryan arrives. What a man? Ryan, a man in my in my gacha game? Does China know? <laughs> Does China know? Ask so much my head. What if what if he cocks me? What if he steals my girl? Man, hey, hey, we need to send some vans in front of them, in front of their headquarters. Ask so much my head. Subscribe, please. All right, so we do actually have the update for the 21st of November for Goddess Victory Nikkei. Uh, so we're going to go over everything that we have here. So first and foremost, we have a new Nikkei SSR Flora. For those who didn't see her, let me show you. She looks fantastic. She looks great. All right, there she is. That's Flora. She used to be an NPC. People were wondering when she was going to be available. Well, she's going to be available right now. Uh, Flora uses MG Natural Garden. She's a supporter who restores the HP of allies on both sides. Her burst kill enhances true damage and recovers the entire squad HP. So there she is, and she's looking very, very cute. I actually really like her design. She's so pretty. I love myself a little girl. I love Lolita fashion. It's so cool. Today, you remind me of a sunflower. I wonder what flower you'll resemble tomorrow. Okay. Weird. I'm a human! How's the burst animation? Waiting for the burst tea. Ah, I love the butterfly. It's so cute. Oh, the flower healing was so pretty. And she has a flower stack amount on the side. Ah, oh, I love this. It's so cute. Come on, ulti. Show me your burst. She's actually so pretty. Oh my god, I love her. Oh my god, I love her. Okay, um, check out Flora's skills below. Oh, the skills available, let's see. So she is a supporter, obviously. She has a burst skill 2, machine gun, electric code. Uh, ammo capacity 300. All right, reload time is slow as per usual. Okay, skill 1, passive, Petunia. Activate the start of battle only if self survives. Affect self and two allies on both sides. So she's going to... This is very... Pretty much similar to... Um, this is pretty much the equivalent... Uh, the same way that like Rouge burst her teammates um, next to her, right? So she can buff the two allies next to her. Recovers 1% of Cassius final max HP every one second continuously. So in a hundred seconds she can top you off. HP restores increased by 4% continuously, stack up to 5 times. Activates after landing 100 normal attacks. Affect all electric code allies. Stack count on buff, plus 1. So, essentially, she heals 1%, but after landing 100 normal attack, her allies with electric code will get 1 additional stun count stack of all of their buffs. But most importantly, obviously, if we consider her healing, that means that if she has two electric code allies next to her, the healing will go from 1% every second to 5% every second, potentially up to 21% every second. So this is potentially a very, uh, a very good healer. On paper, it looks good. Okay, next, skill 2, Iris. Activates when the HP of one of the allies on both sides is lower than 90%, affects all allies. Generate a shield with 10.22% of the caster's final max HP for 10 seconds. Activate when the HP of one of the allies on both sides reaches max HP, affect all allies. True damage increase by basically 31% for 5 seconds. So she heals her team by their max HP every second, essentially. Well, like her teammates. And if they lose 10% of their HP, they gain a shield. So she shields and heals. And she buffs true damage. Interesting. Now we can see also affect all allies. That's her burst, secret garden. Recovers 10.45% of Cassius final max HP as HP. True damage increased by 42.39% for 10 seconds. So she heals all allies and buffs their true damage. 
Now, the problem here is that the Secret Garden has a cooldown of 40 seconds. Um... Yeah, so that's definitely the potential issue with her, is that she's going to be a 40-second cooldown character. Um... I'm not a big fan. It's always a pain to play around characters that have 40 seconds ulti cooldowns. Uh, now, what I'm very curious about here is obviously going to be, if we check like all the characters, who is Electric Code? Uh... Now, the problem here is that she buffs true damage, but we don't have a lot of characters that deal true damage. Um, basically, the only one here that really does true damage and is electric code is going to be Ayn. So she's going to be a good buff for Ayn, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of true damage, we also have Laplace, but she's not electric code, which means that she's not going to benefit from that healing here. But, to be fair, it's not a big deal if Laplace does not benefit from the healing, right? Um, Laplace would still benefit from getting a shield because it's the ally on either side, right? So she will she'll still get like 1% healing uh, every second and she will still get the buff from the true damage. So she still gets the true damage, even if she's not Electric Code. So you can probably do a team with, like, Ayn and, um, just have Ayn and uh, Laplace with the, the treasure on either side of, um, of her. Now, obviously, the problem is that that's already two burst three characters, one burst two character, and because she's a 40 second cooldown, you're gonna need a fourth, um, burst two character. Uh, which, uh, I mean, there's a lot of options here, but obviously, I mean, you can put in Crown, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. In Electric Code, maybe Mari could be an option if you did pick her up from the collab. Full charge damage. Nah, the thing is that she buffed Pierce damage. I mean, the true Ein. Don't Ein. Is it... Doesn't Ayn and Laplace actually also do Pierce damage? They don't. Ooh. Laplace does have Pierce damage. Ayn doesn't, though. There's potential. Maybe you can do something there. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will not be happy with the 40 second cooldown for sure. Uh, but on paper, she is at least interesting. And also, I mean, we're probably going to get more characters that do have, like, um, true damage in the future, right? So, I, I think there's definitely potential there. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I think the 40 second cooldown is definitely going to hurt her for sure. Now, moving on. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much to say about that. Oh, everybody's pissed off. Like, I'm checking the comments real quick. It's like, I'm not playing two burst two for this. No more 40 seconds cooldown for burst one and burst two. Please shift up. They could have made her burst 20 seconds. That's my only pick. I was going to say the kit looks really good, but then I saw 40 second cooldown. Shifty, it's been a lovely two years. Please stop releasing support with, uh, for things we barely have any unit for. Um, so that's someone complaining that they're releasing a support for... Um, like, true damage, even though we don't have true damage. as a response. Through my treasure, clay, Laplace, TR, treasure, and Ein. Yeah, basically here are the only two you want to potentially use. Gobby Laplace with the treasure and Ein. Um, but I'm assuming we're going to get more. Uh, such a waste of a lovely design for 40 second cooldown. The passive is too good that 40 second cooldown makes sense. 30% true damage. 40 seconds burst to SMH, 40 second cooldown, never using her. Yeah, people are pissed off. I get it. Uh, okay, I think she's still going to be useful. And I'm looking forward to see what kind of new characters we're going to be getting with true damage. Uh, I'll definitely keep my eye on her. And I love her design. That said, I mean, I've been drained like crazy. I am dry. My wallet is empty. I'm out of resources. And at this point, I'm probably going to be saving for the December updates. Unfortunately, that's going to be a wishlist character for me. She's a permanent character. 
so you'll be able to get her in the future from the wishlist system, and I think that's probably the best thing you should do. So, uh, there you go. Now, moving on to the rest here. Uh, you can use jam, blah, blah, blah. New costume, volume beats the gun. So, volume is getting a new costume in the December mission pass. New events, secret garden. Flora is spending another day tending to the flowers in the garden when Ryan arrives. What, a man? Ryan, a man? In my, in my gacha game? Does China know? <laughs> Does China know? I'll savage my head? What if, what if he cocks me? What if he steals my girl? Man, hey, hey, we need to send some vans in front of them, in front of their headquarters. As much my head, please don't do that. It's just a joke because of Girls Front Line 2. Alright, moving on. Um, state that she's... Oh, wait, Ryan's a girl! <laughs> Never mind! We won! Ryan's a girl! Getting cucked by a lesbian works. I don't mind. Even better, we can get both. There we go. The paper details the instruction to dispose of the garden. Of course, Siren is being a bitch again. <sighs> of course, Siren is being a bitch again. The crisis averted, I know. Ah, uh, man, it was so close to being a problem, but then we found out Ryan is a girl. We're good, we're good. We can just have both of them, easy. Okay, so Suyun wants to essentially uh, dispose of the garden, and we're gonna find out about uh, that and figure it out. Alright, good shit. Archive, Neverland being added to Archive, Pog. Neverland is last year's um, Christmas event. So it's nice that we have it unlocked right now in the Archives. Uh, so if you haven't played it, you can play it before this year's... Uh, um, Christmas event, that's the word. Uh, we're getting a co-op uh, run, Union Raid, an Arena Reshuffle. Uh, so the Rookie Arena and Spear Arena groups will undergo a periodical reshuffling. Good. Uh, added new titles, that's whatever. New stuff to buy in the shop and some optimization. Okay. Overall, it's a small patch, right? It's kind of a, a small patch to prepare for December, I assume. We are getting one unique kit that's finally out of NPC Jail. We're getting a new costume from the December Battle Pass. We're getting the new events linked to the Nikkei. And that's pretty much it. Just the classic events that we get every single patch. So this is going to be uh, a classic one, a normal one. Uh, the big one are going to be in December when we get the Christmas events. And this is a good opportunity to prepare and farm resources for when we get limited Nikkeis. Because... Christmas events are limited Nikkei, so if you don't get them then, you don't get them ever. Alright, cheers, thank you for watching you guys on YouTube, if you watch it on YouTube, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!